Coming up on High School Quiz Show, it's a qualifying round with Arlington High School. <laughs> Taking on Acton Boxborough Regional High School. next on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. You always want your kids to be safe. Now you can show them the Drive with Safety app from Safety Insurance, designed to help us all drive better. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. Additional funding is provided by Museum of Science. You can experience the world the way a dog sees it at the Museum of Science. Get to know your furry friend in a whole new way and discover the science behind our enduring bond. Dogs, a science tale. Now open at the Museum of Science. Hi, everybody. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Coster, your host. And uh, back in November, teams from all over Massachusetts competed at our Super Sunday qualifying event. 17 of those teams earned a spot in this year's tournament. So the goal now is to become the next High School Quiz Show champion. In today's match, we have Acton Boxborough Regional High School taking on Arlington High School. On Team Acton Boxborough, we have Nathan, Vivek, Basil, and Chris with alternates Charles and Siddharth, and Coach Susan Irvis Bowmiller. <laughs> On the Arlington team, we've got Peter, Nick, Khalil, and Anshu, with alternates Owen and Arman, and coaches Margaret Faith and Ed Foley. <laughs> so the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. And we'll start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth uh, 10 points. This is the only round with no point deductions for any wrong answers. So teams, if you're ready, good luck. And uh, here we go. Because it is the fastest planet as it moves around the sun, which planet in the solar system is named after the Roman messenger god? Yes, Anshu. Mercury? Yes. Uh, what is the largest Hindu majority country? Yes, Basil. India? Yes. Long criticized for its unrealistic body proportions, what iconic doll now comes in three new sizes, tall, petite, and curvy? Yes, Basil. Barbie? Yes. Originally from uh, the Latin sexta ora, meaning sixth hour, what Spanish word refers to a midday nap? Yes, Basil. Siesta. Yes. Okay, take a look at your screens. Uh, pictured here is a farm in what U.S. state that is the nation's top producer of potatoes? Yes, Chris. Idaho. Yes. What light-sensitive tissue located in the inner eye contains photoreceptors for light and color? Yes, Peter. The retina. Yes. I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears, and sweat. Winston Churchill said this on May 10th, 1940, just three days after replacing what prime minister? Yes, Vivek. Neville Chamberlain. Yes. Uh, the Danube River rises in the mountains of what national forest in western Germany? Basil. The Black Forest. Yes. Known as the king of the three-point shot in 2016, what Golden State Warrior became the first player to win the NBA Most Valuable Player Award unanimously? Yes, Basil. Curry. Yes, Steph Curry. Uh, take a look at your screens. Your next question is coming up right now. Hello, my name is Bruce Arena. I'm the head coach of the New England Revolution, and here's my question. Based in Northern England and nicknamed the Red Devils, what Premier League team has won a record 20 league titles? 
Yes, Basil. Manchester United. That is correct. What annual event celebrated on April 22nd uh, marks the anniversary of the birth of the modern environmental movement in 1970? Yes, Nathan. Earth Day. Yes. What author of Breakfast at Tiffany's wanted Marilyn Monroe to star as Holly Golightly in the 1961 film adaptation, but she turned the offer down? Yes, Basil. Truman Capote. Yes. Your direct maternal line can be traced through your mitochondrial DNA. Mitochondria are found in what gel-like part of the cell? Yes, Khalil. Cytoplasm? Yes. According to U.S. News and World Report, which of the following costs grew the most from 2003 to 2013? Was it A, medical care, B, housing, or C, college tuition? Yes, Anshu. College tuition. That is correct. I've got a math question now. An obtuse angle is any angle that is greater than how many degrees? Yes, Khalil. 90 degrees. Correct. What river, the longest in Ireland, by the way, touches 17 counties and forms three lakes before emptying into the Atlantic Ocean? The River Shannon is the answer there. Uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. gave a historic speech titled, I Have a Dream, at the National Mall, August 28th of what year? Yes, Basil. 1963. Yes. Name the only country with coastlines on both the Mediterranean Sea and the Black Sea. Chris. Turkey. Yes. A star's brightness, as seen from Earth, is called apparent magnitude. A star's true brightness in space is called what type of magnitude? Yes, Peter. True magnitude. No, you want to try Acton Boxborough. Basil. Absolute magnitude. Yes. What U.S. president granted Richard Nixon a full pardon for any crimes he may have committed while in office? Yes, Basil. Gerald Ford. Correct. Which of the following Greek goddesses won the golden apple in a beauty contest known as the Judgment of Paris? Was it A, Aphrodite, B, Hera, or C, Athena? Yes, Chris. Aphrodite. Correct. Two years after it exposed the Social Security numbers of nearly 150 million people, what credit bureau agreed to a $700 million settlement in 2019? Peter. Equifax. Yes, the main constituent in many forms of plaster. What is the second softest mineral on the Mohs hardness scale after talc? Yes, Peter. Gypsum. Yes. Uh, name the only Eastern European language that is a major romance language. Yes, Nick. Romanian. Yes, math question. A fridge contains eight oranges, eight apples, and eight pears. You randomly select two fruits, one after the other. In lowest terms, what is the probability of selecting two different kinds of fruit in a row? Yes, Anshu. One-ninth. No, you want to try Acton Boxborough. Basil. Uh, 7 over 69? No, it would be 16 out of 23, or 70%. In 2019, Marvel Studios released its first superhero film with a woman in the sole title role, uh, with what actress playing Captain Marvel? Yes, Vivek. Brie Larson. That is correct. In the children's book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar, a caterpillar eats... Increasing quantities of food over seven days. On the first day, Monday, he eats what red fruit? Yes, basil. Apple. Yes, in May 2019, what U.S. Treasury Secretary refused a request from House Democrats to hand over President Trump's tax returns? Yes, basil. Stephen Mnuchin. Yes. Each amino acid... Oh, there's the bell that will end the toss-up round. The score right now, Acton Boxborough, 180 points. Arlington High School, 80 points. How about it, folks? Okay, the head-to-head -head round is next. First, we'd like to get to know the players, the contestants, a little bit better. We have a question. And I'm going to start with Acton Boxborough and you, Nathan. So I ask, what actor or actress would you want to play you if they ever made a movie about your life? I think I would want um, Matthew Timmons to play me because I liked his performance as Woody Fink on the sitcom Sweet Life on Deck. Wow. Uh, Vivek, how about you? <laughs> uh, I would want Adrian Romante to play me because I enjoyed his performance as Esteban Julio Ricardo Montoya <laughs> de la Rosa Ramirez on the sitcom Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. So did we all, right? We really did. Uh, Basil, how about you? I think I would want Dylan Sprouse to play me because I enjoyed his performance as 
uh, Zach Martin on both The Sweet Life of Zach and Cody and The Sweet Life on Deck. <laughs> I can't wait, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would like Cole Sprouse to play me in a movie about my life because he is Dylan Sprouse's twin. Of course he is. Arlington High, you've had a couple of minutes to think about it. Uh, Peter, how about you? The movie's all about you. Who's playing you? I would like Liam Hemsworth to play me because I really liked his performance as Gail in The Hunger Games, and you can't go wrong with a Hemsworth, can you? You really can't go wrong with a Hemsworth. Uh, Nick? Um, I like Matt Damon to play me because he's from the area and went to high school with my mom. Oh, cool. Uh, Khalil, how about you? Probably Tom Holland. He's a big inspiration of mine, and I really like his work. Okay, and uh, Anshu? Um, probably Kumail Nanjiani, because he's funny and he's in a couple of movies I like. Cool. I don't want to make a big deal about it. People say Brad Pitt should play me. Um, <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there. All right, we're ready for the head-to-head -head round. You guys ready? All you have to do is come on down, and we're going to go head-to-head. -head. Here we go. Okay, we're about to go head-to-head. -head. I have Arlington High School to my left to act in Boxborough Regional High School to my right. Hey, guys, why don't you shake hands, and we'll get started in this round. As a reminder, uh, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers will cost you 10 points, and you can buzz in at any time. So the clock is set at 90 seconds, and here we go. In 1789, the French Revolution began with the storming of what Paris? The, the Bastille. Yes. Uh, Hazel Grace of Lancaster is the narrator of what John Green novel? Yes. Uh, the Fault in Our Stars. Yes. Uh, what U.S. state is home to Everglades National? Yes. Florida. Yes. In July 2019, what polarizing politician became uh, the new prime minister of the United Kingdom? Yes. Uh, yeah. Blair. Oh, wait. No, Boris Johnson. Uh, what famous inventor was known as the Wizard of Menlo Park? Tom Edison. Yes. Uh, what Shakespeare play opens with a trio of witches? Macbeth. Yes. Uh, what Massachusetts city is home to a seaside mansion known as the House of Seven Gables? Salem, Massachusetts. Uh, the Great Bear Constellation is also known by what two words? Uh, yes. Ursa Major. Yes. In 2019, after mass protests, Ricardo Rossello resigned as the Puerto governor. Puerto Rico. Yes. Which member of the Beatles sings lead vocal on Octopus's Garden and Yellow Submarine? John yes. Lennon. No, Ringo Starr. A uh, typical human body cell has how many chromosomes? Yes. 46. Yes. Uh, what is Australia's only island state? Tasmania. Uh, what Russian leader was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1990 for his efforts to end the Cold War? Mikhail Gorbachev. Yes. Schoolboys stranded on an island descend into savagery. And what William Gold... Yes. Uh, Lord of the Flies. Yes. A deep ocean of liquid water. Oh, and that is the bell ending the head-to-head -head round, round two. Take a look at the scores right now. Uh, Acton Boxborough, 200... 40 points, Arlington High School right now, 100 points. Let's hear it for both teams. Okay, next up is the category round with the following categories. Who's on first? The Longest Day, Wild Things, Pulp Fiction, About Alliteration, and Ocean State. Now... Each category has five questions with increasing point values. Players, yes, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you're no longer allowed to confer. We're going to need your answer. Uh, so, Arlington, you've got some ground to make up. You get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? Ocean State for 10, please. Okay, Ocean State, and here we go. These are questions about Rhode Island for 10 points. What founder of Rhode Island was a staunch advocate of religious tolerance and separation of church and state? Yes, Basil. Williams. Roger Williams, correct. You've got the board, Act in Boxborough. Category. Pulp Fiction. Yeah. Yeah. We'll take Pulp Fiction for 10 points, please. Pulp Fiction. These are questions about graphic novels and comics. And for 10 points, in a series of books by Dave Pilkey, two troublemakers named George and Harold turn their school principal, Mr. Krupp, into a dim-witted superhero named what? Yes, Khalil. Captain Underpants. That is correct. You've got the board Arlington category. Um, Ocean State for 15, please. Back to Ocean State for 15 points. In 2018, public school students sued Rhode Island's governor and education officials for failing to teach which of the following was it A, climate change, B, civics, or C, evolution? Yes, Nathan. B. 
B Civics is correct. You get the board to act in Boxborough category. We're switching, we're switching. Uh, the longest day for 10 points, please. All right. The longest day, questions about D-Day. For 10 points, the D-Day invasion at Normandy was the largest amphibious attack in history. It took place on June 6th of what year? Yes, Peter. 1944. That is correct. And you get the board Arlington category. Ocean State for 20, please. Okay, 20 points here. Rhode Island was the first American colony to take military action against England. In 1772, they attacked the HMS Gaspee in what bay located between Newport and Providence? Uh. Narragansett Bay is the answer. Uh, Arlington, you've still got the board. Category? Wild things for 10, please. Wild things. These are questions about animals and for 10 points. Also known as Danius plexippus, what type of milkweed butterfly is known for its orange and black wings and its long annual migrations? Yes, Nathan. Monarch. Yes, and now you've got the board act in Boxborough category. Um, who's on first for 10, please? Who's on first? Questions about baseball for 10 points. The curse of the Bambino dates from December 26, 1919, when the Red Sox sold Babe Ruth's contract for $100,000 to what team that had never won a World Series? Yes, Nathan. The Yankees. New York Yankees. You've still got the board act in Boxborough. Keep going. Uh, no, I was literate. About alliteration for 10, please. Okay. Um, all answers are alliterative phrases. For 10 points, what former film and television actress is the first American to marry into the British royal family since 1937? Yes, Nathan. Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle is correct. You've got the board. Category. Pulp Fiction for 15 points, please. Okay. 15 points at stake. Uh, what irreverent and highly influential satirical magazine that gave the world... Alfred E. Newman effectively ceased operations in 2019 after a 67-year run. Peter. Mad Magazine. Mad Magazine is right. Arlington, you get the board category. Um, wild things for 15. Okay, and for 15 points. Uh, the term big cat applies only to lions, tigers, jaguars, and leopards. They're defined by their unique ability to do which of the following? A. Hunt in groups, B, swim, or C, roar? Yes, Nathan. C. Roar is correct. You get the board to act in Boxborough category. Pulp Fiction for 20, please. 20 points. In Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns, Batman comes out of retirement to fight two of his greatest enemies, uh, the Joker and what villain whose real name is Harvey Dent? Basil. Uh, Two-Face. Two-Face is correct. You've got the board category. A book is uh, the longest day for 15 points, please. Okay. 15 points. As Supreme Commander of Allied Forces, what general was charged with planning and carrying out the D-Day invasion? Nathan. Eisenhower. Dwight D. Eisenhower is correct. You've still got the board. Category? Um, let's see. Who's on first? 15, please. Okay. 15 points. What is currently the only Canadian team in Major League Baseball? Yes, Vivek. Toronto Blue Jays. That is correct. You've still got the board act in Boxborough category. Uh, about alliteration. Uh, for 15 points. Uh, played by Gene Hackman in the 1978 film Superman, what evil genius is Superman's arch enemy? Yes, Peter. Lex Luthor. Correct. And you get the board now, Arlington category. Uh, the longest day for 20, please. Longest day, 20 points. D-Day was originally planned. For June 5th, which of the following caused the invasion to be delayed by one day? Was it A, faulty communications equipment, B, bad weather, or C, a disagreement about the attack sequence? Yes, Vivek. Bad weather. B, bad weather is correct. Act in Boxborough, you get the board category. Uh, who's on first? Okay, 20 points. Barry Bonds holds the record for career home runs, but... He's alleged to have used PEDs, which stands for what? Chris. Performance enhancing drugs. Yes, and you've still got the board act in Boxborough category. About alliteration for 20 points, please. Okay. And for 20 points, the first major animal story in children's literature. Uh, what 1877 novel by Anna Sewell is written from the perspective of a horse? Nick. 
Black Beauty. That is correct, and you get the Board Arlington category. The longest day for 25. And here we go. On D-Day, nearly 160,000 Allied troops landed on the beaches of Normandy. The majority were from the United States, Britain, and what third country? Yes, Basil. Canada. Canada is right. You get the board back. Acton Boxborough, category. Uh, we're switching to Ocean State for 25 points, please. Thank you. 25 points. Uh, David Byrne, James Franco, and Seth MacFarlane are alums of what prominent art school founded in Providence in 1877? Yes, Chris. Rhode Island School of Design. Yes, RISD. And uh, you still get to keep the board, so I'll need a category. Wild things. Wild things for 20 points, please. And for 20 points. Uh, creatures with a segmented body and jointed appendages, such as insects, belong to what phylum that makes up more than 80% of all animal species? Yes, Basil. Arthropods? Yes, that is correct. You still get to keep the board. Act in Boxborough. Category. Uh, who's on first for 25 points, please? And here we go. Named after the winningest pitcher in Major League history. What annual board honors the best pitcher in each of the two major leagues, the American League and the National League? Chris? Uh, the Cy Young Award. The Cy Young is correct. You've still got the board act in Boxborough. Uh, about alliteration for 25, please. For 25 points. According to Billboard magazine, the song and dance sensation, the twist, is the biggest chart hit of all time. It was released in 1960 by what early rock and roller? Chubby Checker. Chubby Checker. Uh, you still get to keep the board act in Boxborough category? Uh, we'll take Pulp Fiction for 25, please. Okay, and for 25 points. When Wonder Woman premiered in 1941, Steve Trevor didn't realize Wonder Woman was actually his secretary using what first and last name? Yes, aren't you? Diane. Uh, you want to try acting Boxborough? Diana Prince is the answer. You still have the board, Acton Boxborough. But that's the bell ending the category round. And the score right now, Acton Boxborough with a score of 495 points. Arlington High School, 145 points. How about it, everybody? <laughs> Okay, we are headed into the final 90 seconds of game play, the lightning round, and you will get 20 points for each correct answer, but incorrect answers will cost you 20 points in this round. Uh, so the clock is set. Good luck, teams. And here we go. From 1271 to 1295, what Venetian merchant and adventurer traveled from Europe to Asia? Marco Polo. Yes. Uh, how many lines are there in a traditional English sonnet? Yes, Chris. 14. Yes, because it was the middle colony of the original 13 colonies, what is nicknamed the Keystone State? Yes, aren't you? Virginia. No, Pennsylvania. Uh, the Berlin Wall went up in 1961 and came down in what year? Yes, Nick. 1989. Yes. Uh, Tolstoy was uh, partly inspired to write what novel after a friend's mistress threw her? Yes, Basil. Anna Karenina. Yes. What is the third most common gas found in the air we breathe? Yes, Basil. Argon? Yes. Uh, what annual event in May has been called the two most exciting minutes in sports? Yes, Basil. The Kentucky Derby? Yes. What major river of South Asia flows through Pakistan? And yes, Peter. The Ganges? No, the Indus River. From 1969 to 1974, what country was led by Golda Meir? Yes, Basil. Israel. Yes. Which of the four subtractive primary colors is named for a town in northern Italy? Yes, Nick. Burgundy. No, Magenta. Montego Bay is one of the largest cities in what Caribbean island nation? Yes, Peter. The Dominican Republic. No, Jamaica. South Carolina was the first state to secede from the Union. What was the second? Yes, Basil. Texas? No, Mississippi. Uh, what emperor was in power when two-thirds of Rome was destroyed? Oh, that's the bell. Ending the round and ending the match. The winner this week, Acton Boxborough with 575 points. Arlington High School, 105 points. How about it? Congratulations to both teams for a great round. Now, Acton Boxborough Regional High uh, will now advance to the quarter.
finals where they will play against the winner of the South High Weston match. That's next week on High School Quiz Show. And we hope to see you all there and you all there. Thanks for tuning in to High School Quiz Show. You can watch High School Quiz Show anytime on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram for a look behind the scenes and quizzes that'll keep you thinking. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more photos and video. And add some competition to your conversations by sending your friends High School Quiz Show gifts. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Smart home technology can help prevent a little problem from becoming a big headache. You can ask an independent agent about smart home technology offers from Safety Insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Additional funding is provided by University of Massachusetts Amherst. At the University of Massachusetts Amherst, a revolutionary spirit runs through our veins. As pioneers, builders, unconventional doers, we dream bigger, reach higher, and commit ourselves to the relentless pursuit of progress. Production of WGBH.